This entire Christmas story, from the lights to the reindeer to the aurora sky, was made with AI. No camera, no crew. After making hundreds of AI-powered videos, I wanted to see if I could build a full cinematic world from scratch, using nothing but Canva, AI voices, image and video generators, and music tools. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how I did it, piece by piece, so you can start making emotional, story-driven videos with AI too. Because sometimes, the best way to learn AI is to make something that makes people feel. Let's get started. Okay, so first I had a basic idea about a story I wanted to make. It was a kid's Christmas story, so I came to ChatGBT, that's where I'm at right now, and I gave it my starting idea and had it help me come up with some things that I might wanna include, and that's basically what you see up here. Next, I gave it some ideas for some other things to do in the story, then it created a complete story draft for me. After reading it, I asked it for a few other things in the story, plus a complete script, image prompts, camera movement ideas, and also the narration, and any dialogue, if there was any. It gave me all of that, and after I rewrote it three or four times making changes and revisions, I finally decided on the final script. Next, I'll make my final edits that are needed and then go on to the next step. So let's do that now. Now it's time to record the narration for my Christmas story. So what I did was I brought my story here into Google AI Studio, and since I've got more than one voice talking in it, I decided to choose multi-speaker audio. But before we get too far, let me show you how to start. So you can Google this tool, Google AI Studio. When you get here, this is the first thing you're going to see, and this changes quite frequently, so don't be surprised if it looks different when you visit. What you're gonna wanna do is look for native speech. So click on that, and it'll bring you to something that looks very similar to this. Now you can choose single speaker and whatever voice you like, and if you wanna hear a voice, just click here. And if you want to choose one, just click here and make sure it chooses it like that. But if you want to do multiple voices, which is what I did in this case, you're going to need to choose multi-speaker. In this case, I've got two speakers and that worked out fine for me. So you can put a name here and then you can choose your voice. And then you'll do the same thing for the other voice. This makes it easier to tell them apart. Put the character's name here and then choose a voices, all right? So once you've got all that done, you can come over here and give it some more vocal instructions if you want to. If you want to change this, you can, but you can also leave it just as is. Next, I'm going to get started here. So you'll put the first part of your story here for that speaker. And then when the next speaker comes on, you'll put their information here and then repeat this process. This is showing you I have already set it up. All right, we'll close that down for a second. So over here is where it's going to show you the whole thing but this area shows you the piece by piece. So all you do is put your information for each voice here. So Santa says this, then the narrator says all this, and Santa says this, and the narrator cocks, and so on and so forth. Every time you want to add something else, you just click add dialogue, and then it's going to add the next speaker. So that's how you do that. And then once you get this box down here, you just put your text in there. Then once you've got everything in here, you hit run, and it'll make it. It may take it a few minutes, but once it's finished, you'll see this right here, and this is actually your recording. If you wanna to listen to it, you can click right here, and if you wanna download it, you can click right here. I'll go ahead and download mine, and then once you've done that, then you're ready to go on to the next step. Now I need to create the images for my Christmas story. You can use any image generator you like. Today, I chose this. You can Google this by searching for image FX, and then what you're gonna do next is come inside here. You'll put your prompt right here. You can choose your different image size too. So let's make one together. I'll go to ChatGPT and grab a prompt, and I'll come right back. Okay, so here is my prompt. I also grabbed the seed number, and to make it match everything else I've made, I'll lock it by clicking on that. And now I'll click on the Create button. Next, it'll make me four images. I can use any or all of these, and if I don't like any of them, I can always recreate it. That looks very similar to what I had before. So let's look at these real quick. I think I'll choose this one, but I'm gonna go ahead and download some of these too, just in case. So now I've got my images. You're going to have to do the same basic process for every scene in your video. Basically, what I do is I'll keep the prompt as is, and I'll just change up certain details, like the action, for example. 
I also keep this locked once I find a style I like to keep the overall look consistent. So once I've got all my images made for my story, then I'm ready to go on to the next step. All right, so now let's start working on animating our images. So I've come to design and this is where I'm going to do it at. First thing, you'll need to log in. If you don't have an account, you can start one for free. Just sign up for a free account and check it out. If you like it, then you can always upgrade to the paid accounts. But for now, I'm just going to log in. Okay, now I am inside. So you can see here, there's all sorts of things you can do inside here. You can also see the recent projects here and the most popular tools are right down here. They also have lots of tutorials and more. It's a really, really great system. For now, I'm gonna show you the process. You would start a new project if you were starting from scratch. And if you did that, you'd click here and then you can type it, choose your aspect ratio, then click apply, and then it'll open up your workspace like this. You can always shrink it down to make it easier to see. And then over here at the side are the different tools that you can use. And in most cases, you'll want to just start with AI video. And if you want to make a lip sync video, that's something totally different and you do it here. But for now, I'm going to pretend that I've already started this process. So let's go here and let's imagine we've added our picture and let's shrink that back down. Nice, so I've added my picture. Over here, you can see a few of the things I've already made. So what you would do next is click here, add your picture, then you can choose over here what you want to do. So if you choose AI video, then you would choose whichever one of these video models you want to use. And they have a lot here to work with. So choose the one you want, and then click here, pick it, make sure you've picked your image and then enter a small prompt here describing the action I want this image to take. And then choose your duration, five or 10 seconds and click generate and then it will create your video. It takes a few minutes. Over here are the ones I've already made. For example, this one, it's a lip sync. So is this one. So I made quite a few lip syncs and here's one, it's an image to video. So it'll tell you what they are up here so you'll know. But for this one, once you've got everything chosen, your model, your image, the prompt, duration length, then you click generate and then design makes it. So if you want to make a lip sync, now that's a little different. I'd come over here to lip sync, click on that, and then it's going to give me this option here, pick a face. So I'll pick a face, click on this, and then automatically it picks Santa's face. So you click on that and then hit next. Then you choose your aspect ratio, next. And then now you see the actual image here. What you would do next is add a voice. And you can put a voice here. I did wanna show you, you can also type in your text here, whatever you want your person to say. Then you can choose any of these voices. If you wanna hear them, you just click here to actually listen to them. So that's one way to do it. You can also upload an audio file. You could just drag it in here. Then it's gonna show me the audio and you can always cut some stuff off if you need to on either end. What I would suggest you always do is listen first to make sure this audio is the right one. So if that's it, then you just hit generate and it will make it for you. You can see how many credits it's going to cost to make it. So I'm going to back out of here. Let's go back here and look at this. And I'm going to show you one. This is a lip sync video that I made if only I could travel as fast as light itself. So that's how easy it is to, to make lip syncs in here. But you do that for each and every one of your scenes, make a video of each, and that's how you do it. Design is a wonderful program. It does a really good job. So I really encourage you, if you've never tried it before, come give it a try. But that's how I made all the videos for this particular Christmas story. And now that I've got all the videos animated, let's go on to the next section. All right, so now it's time to put all this together. So I'm in Canva and the first thing I'm gonna do is come over here and choose video. Click on that and then choose landscape video. And then it opens up a fresh new page and I'll open up a few more. If you need to add pages, you just click here to add more. You can also click between two pages and add pages that way. So take your pick. And then I'm gonna come over here to uploads and you can see it's divided into different sections. So you've got folders, audio, videos, and images. I'm gonna come right back here and pull this all the way back. This is called the playhead. I'll go all the way back to the beginning and I'll add in my voice narration file right down here. Okay, and I'll drag this right over here. Now you can see it's uploading into Canva. 
When it's done, I'll add it right here. So wherever this playhead is, that's where the audio is gonna be added. So that's why I put it right at the very beginning. However, since it's the start of the story, I think I will move it back a little bit to include a little bit of a pause. Okay, so now that that's added, the next thing I'll do is make it a little louder. So I'll make this louder and I'll go somewhere around 150. That way it'll be even easier to hear the voice. You might have to play with that a little to get the levels right. Also, you can see here, all this, this is because the story narration is over four minutes long. So I'll need to add quite a few more pages, but that's no problem. So what I could do is open this up and stretch it out. But as I add more pages, I'll make it work out. Next, I'm gonna start adding in my videos. And I've already done that, but I'll take one and show you how to do it. So I'm gonna drag the image in just like that. And you do the same thing for any videos you need. You can always drag them in or you can upload them right up here. All right, so there's my image. And if we wanna put it right there, I'll click on that. Then Canva is gonna add it to that page. Next, you'll need to enlarge it like this. And there you go. So that's, that's how you do that. So you upload all your videos or images and you do that the same way you just drag them in and upload them these are all my videos for my story that i've created in design so i'm going to upload them now so i'm going to get rid of this and just to show you how i'm going to take this one click there add it and there we go and then we just do the same thing over and over just add it to the page and stretch it to fit and then just do this over and over and over and if you want to, you can add something between. If you will hover between these two pages, you'll see you can add a page or add a transition. And that's what I wanna do. So click on transition. I'm gonna add a simple dissolve between all the pages. That'll save me some time. So you just keep adding your videos or images the same way. Just click on it, add it to the page, resize it, put it where you want it to go, and then repeat for the whole story. Okay, so that kind of gives you the idea. There's a lot of other things we can do. How about adding music? I'll do that next. And to add some music, you just drag it over the same way into your uploads area. There it is. And then we're gonna start it right at the very beginning. So we'll click here. Now you can see it's just under two minutes. So we're gonna probably duplicate it a few times to make it fit the entire video. So I'll click right here and add it right at the start. I'm going to take this and make it quieter. So you may have to play with this until you get it right where you want it. You wanna hear it, but you don't want it to be overwhelming so you can't hear the story. So that's how you do that. So you add your narration, your voices, sounds, or music. You just drag them in here and add them here wherever you want them to go. Now I'm gonna go show the completed video. So now I'm in the final product. I just wanted to show you what I've done. So I put all my videos in order so you can see all these different pages. This is the music, this is the narration, and I kind of split it to make it fit the individual pages as I needed to. I've added some sound effects and other things, but that kind of gives you an idea how it works together. Everything that's going on, these are the transitions here between each page. Some pages are shorter, some are longer. I just wanted to make it fit the story as I needed. I also added some snow, you can see it here. I went into elements and I search for snow. If you'll go to graphics, and they've changed things around in Canva recently, so you may have to look a little bit. Go here to animate, and now everything you see is actually moving. There we go. So I added that to several slides, and I also changed the transparency on it, like this. That way, when you're watching the story, as the music's playing in the background, you'll see snow in some slides. Then once you finally got it all together exactly like you want it, and you can go ahead and download it. If you go to share, go to download, make sure MP4 is chosen, include all your pages that you need, and then hit download. And now you're ready to upload it to YouTube, your social media, your website, wherever you're gonna put it. But that's the full process. So now it's your turn to come in here and try to make your own Christmas holiday video. Have fun. Long before Santa's sleigh ever touched the stars, the North was a land of quiet snow and glowing lantern light. Inside a wooden workshop, Santa and his elves worked late into the night wrapping toys and tying ribbons while the wind sang outside. 
But each year, more children believed in Christmas. There must be a way to reach them all before the dawn. And the world seemed to grow larger, his pack heavy with gifts and good wishes. Every Christmas Eve, he set out on foot, his boots crunching through the drifts. That night, as he gazed into the deep blue sky, ribbons of green and pink light began to dance above the snow. And Santa whispered a wish. If only I could travel as fast as light itself. The Aurora Borealis painted the heavens with living color. At that very moment, snow began to fall. Flakes so bright they glimmered like tiny shards of glass. The elves called it Aurora Snow, snow that had drifted through the northern lights and returned carrying their glow. Just then, Santa saw something in the snow. Guided by curiosity, Santa followed the shimmering trail into the forest. He found a herd of reindeer. There, beneath a frozen waterfall made of light, their fur sparkled with frost, their antlers shimmered with color, and when the aurora snow touched them, the ground beneath their hooves began to glow. The sky has shared its light with us, but it needs a heart to guide it. Then let's share that light together. And so, beneath the curtain of the aurora, the first bond was made between Santa and the reindeer. The reindeer taught Santa the secret of the aurora snow. Each flake carried a spark of starlight. When brushed across their coats and the sleigh's runners, it lifted them from the earth. They began to run, first across the snow, then through the air, faster and higher, until the workshop lights were only a memory below. The aurora arced around them like rivers of fire and ice. By the stars, we're flying! Each reindeer carried a gift from the sky. Alaric, strong and noble, led the way. Luna followed the stars. Comet moved like lightning. Frost calmed every storm. And Sultan's golden hooves left warmth wherever he landed. Together, they became the keepers of the aurora snow, the protectors of every Christmas dream. High above the clouds they soared, gazing down at the world below. Villages glowed like constellations, rivers shimmered with ice, and chimney smoke rose into the moonlight. Look down there, my friends. That's why we fly. The reindeer answered with a joyful snort, their hooves scattering stardust as they crossed the night. From that night on, Santa no longer walked alone. Every Christmas Eve, when the northern lights return, the reindeer renew their magic in the falling aurora snow. Their flight reminds us that even the smallest spark of wonder can lift us higher than we ever dreamed. Hold tight, my friends. Let's share the light once more. So when you look up on a clear winter night and see colors dancing in the sky, remember the aurora snow and the reindeer who learned to fly all those years ago. The magic of Christmas isn't just found in the gifts or the lights. It's in the moments we share, the kindness we give, and the wonder we keep alive inside us. Merry Christmas, and may your light always find the sky. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas! And if you love finding out about crazy cool AI tricks before everyone else, subscribe now so you're the first to know when new AI tools drop. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and keep making it with AI. Thanks for watching.